Caleb Williams is a is my die on a hill guy. That's what I mean by my guy. You don't okay. actually believe in it. So when he is very good by like week six, when we're like, holy crap, I don't want you to take any credit for Caleb Williams. No, I want you I, to so, say, so, no, no, no. Bleh. I want you to turn to me and say, Lindsay, you were right. <laughs> and that's the only thing I want to hear. That's it. I want, no, you're, I, cause I can see it happening now. I've worked with you too long. You're going to be like, well, I just said that I, you know, hoped, but I, I was, I, didn't, I don't hate him. It was possible. You're telling me I hate him. No. That I think he sucks. No, like I thought no Zach Wilson would suck. I didn't say anything about that. I said, let's see. I hope so. Let's okay. see. I want to see. Fantasy is about but planting what, a flag. What does that mean? What does and that I'm mean? Planting... Plant your flag on it. Plant yeah, it. That's my flag. Plant it. But I want to know. But let, planting let your let flag means what? What does that mean? He's a top 10 quarterback at the end of the year. Is he top five? Let's plan. Ooh, it. He could be top five. He could be top five. No, I mean, no, I no, don't no, no, like no. that's could be. No, 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 okay. no. I'm saying okay. Jaden Daniels is a top 10 okay. quarterback in fantasy at the end of the year, assuming okay. no injuries. Is Caleb right. Williams better than Daniels? Is he a top 10 guy, a top five guy playing your flag? Okay. I will play my flag on him being a top 10 quarterback with the upside of being a top five quarterback. My flag is planted on top 10. My upside <laughs> is top five. And here's the thing that I'm going to say now. Top Anthony five. Richardson's going in the sixth round. Anthony Richardson in, in NFFC drafts. He's going in the fifth round at the end of the fifth round in fantasy football calculators. So Anthony Richardson is a fifth, sixth round type of quarterback. What I feel comfortable saying is that right now, Caleb Williams is going in the 10th. I don't think that that will continue. Like if we're drafting Labor Day weekend, I don't think Caleb Williams ADP is going to be in the 10th round, nor do I think it should be. And explain to me real quickly why Anthony Richardson is somebody who's going where he's going and Caleb Williams is going where he's going. Like why the disparity between the two when we have seen Caleb Williams and the rushing ability and the ability to keep a play alive and get the ball downfield and make all of these bonkers throws with touch. Like what we've seen from him in the preseason I, doesn't explain his draft slot just doesn't make sense to me. Jay, so, all right, on NFFC, which is the high stakes uh, folks, our friends over there, Caleb's going 13 spots below Daniels. But on ESPN, it's Caleb who's going four spots ahead of Jaden. So mm -hmm. the the people who are putting the dead presidents up for grabs are going with Daniels while more of the, you know, the casual folks are going with Caleb. Why? Caleb's a bigger name. He was the number one overall pick. Bigger name. A uh, lot of weapons. I never said a bad thing about Caleb Williams except for to get your goat because he went to USC. And Oh, he's already backing off. Do you guys that, see that, this? No, 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 Do you I'm see what's happening? No, nope, he's not going to be a top already. 10 quarterback. He's not going to be a top 10 quarterback. No, he's not. Okay. In fantasy, he clicked. will not be a top 10. He won't be. Maybe he'll Producer be 12, but he won't that. be top 10. So, but what I'm saying is that outside of C.J. Stroud, and I know Caleb Williams is, is like, he's not a guy who's going to run for 800 yards, but he's mobile. And we saw that in the game over the weekend where he rushed for a touchdown. The reason why I like Jaden Daniels is typically rookie quarterbacks have to give you some pretty good rushing totals to get into that top 10 in year one. We saw it with RG3. We saw it with Dak. We, we saw it with Russell Wilson. We saw it with, I mean, the list goes on and on. Vince Young, rushing type quarterbacks as rookies, very good. Jaden's better suited for that than Caleb Williams. And I feel like because of the lack of weapons that the commanders have around him, Jane Daniels is going to have to be running the ball a little bit more, a lot more actually than Caleb Williams. So for me, I hope the kid has a great season because I've got shares of Keenan Allen and I've got shares of DJ Moore, and I want those shares to, to be worth something. But for me, I'm going Jane Daniels. There's going to be more asked of him, especially on the ground. And that's why I like him. And uh, I, I think he's going to be a top 10 quarterback.